You've probably had multiple points in your life where you've struggled to stick to a new habit. You listen to a Tim Ferriss podcast and decide that you will become a person who time blocks every single day. You watch a Michelle B video and decide that you're gonna chuck on a timer daily to run around and clean your house. You scroll through a little too much Instagram and decide that it's time to get a Tammy Hembrow booty. You ride on your high, you are blocking out your time, your butt is sore, your house is clean. Then a week after you start, you skip a day. And then you think, well, I've skipped a day, so maybe I'll just kick off at the start of next week. The next week comes by and you get busy, your life is filled with distractions again, your butt is still flat, and your house is a mess. A month later, you look back on your attempt to start these new habits and you think like, oh my God, if I just had the self-discipline, what is wrong with me? Why don't I have any willpower? I've 100% been through that before and after going through that cycle over and over, I came to realize that discipline isn't actually the answer. There's a far better way to make real changes in your life that actually works. To be clear, I am not saying that I don't believe in a little bit of self-discipline here and there. You need splashes of it, but it's overrated. For big habits like waking up at 5 a.m. and working out and little habits like taking my vitamins every day, I've replaced the mindset of self-discipline with something far more helpful. I've applied this strategy to a whole bunch of areas of my life, including things like quitting coffee, reading more books, drinking more water, keeping my house tidy amongst a range of other things. So firstly, what is wrong with self-discipline? The main thing that's wrong with self-discipline is just that most of the time it's not actually that effective. Why would you take the harder route to get to where you want to go when you could not? Self-discipline most often leads to giving up and feeling bad about yourself and there are just better ways to change your behavior. The second thing that's wrong with self-discipline is that it often turns into a really good excuse, especially after you've decided that you don't have it. You listen to someone talking about going vegetarian and you say something like, "Ugh, I've always wanted to, but I just don't have the self-discipline for that because you know, bacon. You see your colleague getting up at 5 a.m. every morning training and you say something like, wow, like that's amazing that you're doing that. I could never have the self-control to wait myself up that early. You see your friend choosing the water over the coke and you say something like, wow, you have so much self-restraint. I just don't have that. Discipline, particularly if it's the only thing that you rely on, can very quickly turn into a cop-out. Thirdly, discipline leads to thoughts that just don't help. I skip my workout again. What's wrong with me? I binged on cookies. I am so crap at everything. I'm such a bad human being. My house is a mess. It's been a week. Why don't I have the willpower to clean? And to get practical about it, what is helpful about that thought pattern? Is it helping you to advance in life? Is it helping you to feel better about yourself? Is it helping you to actually do the things that you need to do? No, it just leads to self-loathing, not behavior change. So what is the alternative? How do you start and stick to habits without relying on willpower and self-discipline? There are two things that have really helped me with this. And these are actionable mindset shifts. So they're different ways of approaching life, but they are also things that you can do something about, not just nice wishy-washy thoughts to have in the back of your mind. Firstly, see changing your behavior as a period of problem solving and experimenting, whether it be starting to work out, starting to keep the house tidy, starting to read more books. So maybe you've tried going to the gym at 6 a.m. every morning before and it didn't work out for you. Rule that out. Have you tried going to the gym with someone else? Have you considered that maybe you're not made for a typical gym? Maybe you're a hiking person or maybe you're a rock climbing person. Maybe gyms filled with people as an introvert isn't a good idea and you're more of a home workout person. Or maybe a different time would be more likely to stick. Are you more energetic at night? If you're finally trying to wake up early every day and you do it for a week and then you're like, God, it's too bloody cold to get out of bed. Get out, buy a smart plug, set up a heater. If you've set yourself up, it's cozy in the morning and then you realize like, actually, I'm not motivated to get out of bed because I don't know what I'm doing with my mornings. Every night, sit down, decide why you are waking up early the next morning. You often go into a new habit with this clear idea of exactly what it will look like, usually based on 
something that you've seen in a video, you've heard someone talk about in a podcast, or just this clear idea of like the perfect you. You try to use self-discipline to keep it going and never consider that maybe a few environmental tweaks, some accountability layering, a change in the time of the habit that you're performing, or even a change to the nature of the habit that you're performing is what you need. And I'm not underestimating you here. You've probably read Atomic Habits, The Power of Habit by Charles Duhigg. You've sat down, you've decided where you will stack your habit in and what habit you're gonna be doing. You've set your implementation intentions and all of that is amazing. But just because you thought 30 minutes of cardio right after waking up was the perfect way to integrate exercise doesn't mean that it actually is. You want to apply design thinking to real life. Just because one way of working out didn't work for you doesn't mean that working out full stop does not work for you. You need to test, tweak, keep on trying different approaches until you find something that sits right. And sometimes it'll only sit right for a year and then you need to test, tweak and see how you go from there. It could take two goes, five five goes, 10 goes, but you are approaching this like a game, like a puzzle to be solved. And the puzzle is your own behavior because it literally is a puzzle. If you start to look at your behavior change as experimenting, you will have so much more power over yourself. You'll develop this limitless mindset. And more importantly, you'll reach a point where you are the person that you've wanted to become. It may look different to how you initially pictured it, but you'll get there. Secondly, focus on creating momentum. Don't think about reading the whole book or cleaning the whole house or perfecting the entire language. Instead, think about putting your workout clothes on and walking out the door, opening the meditation or the language app, putting the book in front of you. The habit before the habit is called the instigation habit. For example, putting on the timer to start a 20 minute clean or putting on the workout clothes and walking to your car. Those are both instigation habits and the stronger that they are and the more that you focus your energy on just completing those instigation habits, the more likely you are to then fulfill the habits in full. This is essentially tricking your mind into doing hard things by telling it, yeah, I might do it, but I might not. I'm just gonna start. We'll see what happens. Do you remember that time when you really didn't feel like cleaning the house? Then you were like, screw it. I'm just going to clean the bench. And then two hours passed and your entire house was clean. Or when you were like, oh, I don't feel like working on that assignment, but I'm going to sit myself down just for 10 minutes and I'm gonna write whatever comes out and then I'm gonna stop. And then you ended up doing a good solid hour on the assignment. This is where discipline plays a part. If you put all of your effort and all of your discipline into getting the ball rolling and creating a level of momentum, the habits will come from there. If you like this video, you're probably going to like my video on how to upgrade your life times 20. I talk about a bunch of mindset shifts that you can make that will make you a more effective human being. I'm going to have that linked on the screen and down below. I appreciate you so very much and I will see you soon.